Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Uh, it is maybe just 11 a.m. It's beautiful and sunny out, feeling like spring. It is a wonderful, wonderful feeling to see the sunshine. I hope you are all um, hanging in there. And <clears throat> hi, Liz. Good morning. Um, doing all the things that you need to do to stay connected to your, your own inner source um, of peace and stillness and reality with a capital R. I think now more than ever, it's important to, really important to continue to do your spiritual practices, whatever they may be. Um, it's important to continue to wake up. Um, when we meditate, um, we build an inner knowing and an inner resilience. Um, and we continue to build our, or practice bringing our attention to reality, the truth with a capital T and a capital R, reality. Um, that's really important right now. I feel like it's really easy to be hypnotized right now um, by media, social media, um, different, you know, hearing things here and there. And so it's just important to really, really continue to go within to get, get connected to that part of yourself that is all knowing, that is infinite, that um, is in touch with <clears throat> life and and reality so um, one of my intentions when I meditate is to wake up to wake up to the truth to wake up to who I am to wake up to what it is I need to know to wake up to a deeper understanding to what I call God um, it could be spirit universe yourself whatever that that word is for you um, so with that in mind, I would like that to be our intention for today to, to wake up, to collectively wake up to whatever it is we need to know, to do, to be, um, to become. So I normally will pick a reading today, but I haven't picked anything and we'll, we'll do a surprise reading to all of us today. Um, we will start with our breath work. So. I like starting with the breath work. I feel like it's cleansing and it sort of gets the system um, prepared, your body prepared for being still. So we'll start with our breath work, our four count breath work. If you are just joining me for the first time today, you can just follow along. Um, and what I always say is if um, the four count breathing is challenging, just do um, a count that works for you. So you can do two count or, or two and four or um, whatever works for you. So I will guide us through the first few cycles of the breath work. I like to use affirmations with my breath work. I typically use um, similar affirmations. Um, and you're welcome to, I'm, I obviously will say them out loud, but when we are doing our breath work on our own, you're welcome to use any, any affirmation that works for you, or you can just use the numbers one, two, three, four. Okay? So I'm so happy to see you guys here. Thank you for joining me this morning. I really really love doing this and sharing this with you guys it's it's very meaningful to me so thank you um, okay so let's start with our breath work find a comfortable seat um, I like to sit cross-legged but that may not be available to everyone so <clears throat> you're gonna sit in a position that feels the most comfortable to you a position that you can sustain uh, when I sit I like to put a pillow behind my back I feel like that helps support my upright posture um, so hands are just in a receptive position on your lap or you can cup them and place them in your lap as well. Um, so just allowing your eyes to close and just beginning the process of going within. And just take a couple of normal breaths, just an inflow and an outflow and just allowing your breath to to move just as it is right now. And 
We'll take a collective deeper inhale together. And then exhale all the way out. And as we inhale, we'll begin our four count breathing. So blowing all of your air out and inhaling. Divine life lives me and hold. Divine life lives me and exhale. Divine life lives me and hold. Divine life lives me. Inhale, perfect peace fills me and hold. Perfect peace fills me and exhale. Perfect peace fills me and hold. Perfect peace fills me and inhale. Perfect health lives me and hold. Perfect health lives me and exhale. Perfect health lives me and hold. Perfect health lives me. And then just continuing with three more cycles at your own pace, using your own affirmations or counting. So just finishing the cycle that you're on. And then as you're ready, you can allow your eyes to open. And then, so we'll move into our inspirational reading for today and then right into our guided meditation. So I normally I choose a reading, but I didn't choose a reading today. I thought we would be surprised together. And whatever, this is what I usually do when I sit to meditate. I just open to whatever page and know that it's the right information for me. I know that, that it's what I need to hear today. So hopefully this will be... Um, what we all need to hear today. So I'm going to read from Reverend Michael Beckwith, who is my teacher. He's got a book that's called 40 Day Mind Fast Soul Feast. Um, you can get it on Amazon. It's great because it's um, like each day is something different and there's a little affirmation also. So, um, so I'm just going to open and we'll see what the reading will be. <clears throat> so today's reading is called Your Spiritual Success Story. There's a little quote by Christian D. Larson. It says, true achievement in any sphere of action depends on real ability and a strong, deep, whole-souled love. Your spiritual success story. People have become geniuses at handling failure. Human ingenuity has developed elaborate skills and defense mechanisms for coping with failure. People prepare themselves in advance for failure so they won't be disappointed when things seemingly go wrong. The truth is that you are here to learn how to handle love, joy, creativity, and success. You want to develop an inner structure that supports an affirmative response to life that allows you to make yourself receptive to the infinite arenas of success that are all around you. You accomplish this by conducting an ongoing redefining session with yourself so that moment by moment you catch God's definition of who and what you are. This takes courage because it may mean listening to mediocre minds asking, who does she think she is? Never mind. Say to yourself, this does not move me. 
Keep your attention focused on the pulsar of God's infinite love, which cheers you on as you move forward to embrace and embody your spiritual success story. Today, contemplate the truth that is God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. That it is God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Understand that your part is to graciously accept. This moment-by-moment -moment acceptance will ultimately transform any tendencies toward mediocrity. It will create within you a response of strength, confidence, and a willingness to authentically express more of your true nature. Prepare yourself for success. And there's an affirmation which says, what I think causes success to unfold in my experience. Divine love and inspiration flow through me, assuring my success in all endeavors. I will put this affirmation in the comments after the meditation if you want to come back to it, okay? So just, again, finding a seat that feels comfortable for you with your hands in a receptive position, allowing your eyes to close, and just letting the reading just ruminate within you and around you, just taking it all in. And then beginning the process of going within, of connecting to that part of yourself which is all-knowing, which is infinite, which is untouchable by outside circumstances. With every breath moving deeper and deeper into the stillness of your being, And just allowing your mind to expand. So we're not trying to stop our thoughts or make our mind clear. We're just opening up to that which is greater than our thinking, greater than our beliefs, that part of our ourselves that is divine in nature. Just opening to that. And then beginning to become aware of your breath. And just noticing where your breath sits in your body. Notice if it feels shallow or deep. Do your inhales and exhales feel even? Or does one feel longer than the other? allow yourself to notice your breath without trying to change it, without <clears throat> manipulating it, just letting it be exactly as it is. And in our meditation today, we will use our breath to re-anchor ourselves to the present moment, to bring ourselves deeper into our true selves to wake up. So moment by moment as we move through this meditation, as you notice your mind wandering, which it will, and you may notice you become involved with a thought or a story, the moment you notice, you just gently and with loving kindness bring yourself back to your breath, re-anchor yourself in the present moment, and just do it over and over and over again as many times as you need to, with love. And so just allowing yourself to be still, to let the thoughts of the day move through, let the thoughts of the past pass by, and any thoughts of the future, allow them to be there in the future. So that you may be present in the here and now. In this moment, which is all that there is, there's nothing outside of this moment, nothing outside of this time. Just allowing yourself to be in this perfect space right now. Whatever it feels like, whatever it looks like, it's perfect. 
perfect. And just as it should be. With each breath, feel yourself pulled to that still, still, still part of your being. allowing your thoughts to move through. As if you were sitting at a train station, just watching thoughts go by, watching trains go by. Not getting on every train, but just observing as they move through and coming back to your breath. every breath, feel your inner world, your inner being, that true deep part of yourself expand. Over and over, bringing yourself back to your breath. That anchor to the here and now, the present moment, which is all that there is. And right in this moment, everything is perfect and all is well. And just as it should be.
with each breath, a deeper wave of stillness moves over you, allowing you to tune ever more deeply into reality with the capital R that is within you. And once again, just returning to notice your posture. Maybe just noticing the depth of your breath and where it sits in your body once again. Just take a moment before we open our eyes and just give thanks for any insights, for any awarenesses, for any shifts in consciousness. And just to have the ability to be still for this practice, give thanks for this practice. Be in gratitude that this is available to us anytime we need it. And even when we think we don't. And let's take an, an inhale breath all together, a nice full breath. And then easefully let your air flow. And then as you're ready, just allow your eyes to open and bring your consciousness back into your room, your house, your physical space. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, participating this morning. I love doing this. I feel deep gratitude for this practice and for each of you for showing up and joining me. It really um, makes a huge difference to meditate with other people, even though we're not physically together. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I will post today's affirmation in the comments so you can come back to it if you liked it. Um, and I will be back tomorrow evening, which is already Thursday at 6.30 p.m. for um, Pilates mat class, and then again Friday morning, 8 a.m. for meditation, and Friday afternoon, 4 p.m. for a gentle Pilates mat class. Um, and if you miss any of them, I always post them on the page, and I also upload them to my YouTube channel, which is just under my first and last name. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Love you all, and I hope to see you tomorrow night for class. All right, bye-bye.